Hi and welcome to part 2 of our invoices app tutorial. In this video we're gonna perform basic styling to our app. So let's start our server by typing rails s and go to our local host. Now you see this is a simple blank app so we should add some styles. First of all we need to add bootstrap uh, bootstrap gem. Simply go to their github page and follow their instructions. First add gem to our gem file so open up your invoices folder find gem file and add gem bootstrap sas after that you need to bundle bundle it out you should install bootstrap after that, copy and paste these two lines of code to your CSS file first. You need to rename your file to SCSS. You should change the extension. Paste these two lines. Okay. Now let's copy and paste this line require bootstrap sprockets to our application JS file like this require bootstrap sprockets and after that we are ready to start our server and our bootstrap is installed Now let's refresh our page. And now you see something changed. Seems like Bootstrap is working. After that, let's go to site which is called boot watch.com this is a free themes for bootstrap let's pick one theme I don't know let's pick this sandstone theme okay now how we can do it first of all we need to install these two files are uh, not installed just copy and paste so uh, let's create file variables under vendor assets style sheets it will be variables dot scss save the file and copy and paste all these contents save file repeat the procedure uh, with file boots watch dot scss Just copy all and paste it into your file. Save these files and we need to import these files into our application as CSS. You should import your variables 
right between your sprockets and bootstrap to make them work like this and after that you need to import boots watch boots watch refresh our page and now we'll see the styles are applied so after that let's create our simple navbar navigation simply click this button and this is all our code this is navbar okay copy that code and put it into views application HTML ERB file you should paste it after body and before yield like this uh, we don't need of most of this uh, blocks diffs and li so just clear our nav bar we don't need in drop down we don't need the search form nav bar right let's clear it and let's clear unnecessary li change the word brand into invoices okay we are ready let's put some indentations here and also let's wrap our yield into a container div class container fluid And close the div okay now refresh our page and seems like invoices seems like our nav bar is ready or maybe let's pick the black nav bar just change this line Now bar default. Okay, now looks more stylish or after that, let's put here the link to our invoices. How we can do it? This is a link to helper. Looks like this. Link to the text will be invoices. Our URL will be invoices. Path, you can find uh, your correct path by typing rake routes like this. Type rake routes and it will output all your routes from your app. Now you see this to access our index page we should type invoices path like this and our options uh, just delete the options okay refresh our page and now you see our link is working after that let's perform some 
actions in our table in our index page first of all I'm gonna wrap it into a panel okay now create div with class row inside that div puts another div with class call md8 call md offset of 2 create our panel div class panel panel default close this tag in our panel let's create heading div class panel heading close the div and into our heading let's put our h1 tag maybe we should change to h4 or h3 remove listing it will be just invoices that will be our title class panel title after that let's create our body panel body div class panel body close this tag into that div i'm gonna put our or table it's just x and control v maybe we should refactor a little our table i'm gonna put our amount to this place x and put it uh, in the third column so our amount and currency will be on the same column okay now now let's create our panel footer div class and put our link to new invoice into that footer now we can add some options such as class I will be btn btn primary okay remove unnecessary elements save this file and go back to our Chrome and now you see uh, our our panel is rendered now we we have I forgot to add class table to our table the class table and table hover go back refresh page and now it looks more stylish more consistent 
Okay, maybe we should add table bar there at. Okay, fine. Now I'm gonna restyle my show invoices page. Go to show HTML ERB file and let's add panel. Just copy and paste this code to our show HTML ERB page. Don't forget to close the tags. You can find the text uh, by indentations. So it's very useful thing, you know. Let's close the diff and put all this code into our body, panel body. Just control X and control V. A little refactor our list so I'm gonna add amount to this paragraph like this Okay, now let's add footer to our panel, div class panel footer, don't forget to close the tag, also let's add div class btn group. Put our links inside this BTN group. I'm gonna add options to our link to helper BTN BTN danger. BTN, BTN, I don't know, maybe warning. Okay, now refresh our page. Now it looks more stylish. Okay, now let's perform or styling in form. I'm gonna copy and paste the form from my previous project. Okay, here is that code. I've copied and pasted here. And note there is no form for, but simple form for. What is this? This is a powerful gem which helps you to create your form now you see that okay now let's install our simple form gem just copy this line and put into gem file After that, uh, let's stop our server, bundle install.
okay our simple form jam is installed and now we should generate our bootstrap uh, hell, uh, I don't know bootstrap initializer just copy that line and paste it here into our terminal after that command uh, our simple form will have all the bootstrap styles okay now launch our server rails s now refresh our page and you see our form it look very nice looking very nice uh, but we should maybe perform some changes to it first of all let's look at our new HTML ERB and make some changes first of all I'm gonna wrap it into panel so create our div div class row close this div and create div with class call md 10 call md offset 1 put our form into our panel so let's create panel div class panel panel default close our tag add header um, we can just copy copy from index yes let's copy our heading control C V and our title will be new invoice okay fine now put our form into body or maybe we should change new invoice maybe we should replace our heading with link it will look, it will look more consistent add class to our link to class BTN BTN danger and put our form inside panel body and now it will look more stylish okay I'm gonna refactor a little bit our form okay now it looks fine and let's add some styles to our form okay 
this is the styles from our previous project so I just I just copied and pasted it to save our time and finish our page okay good now let's fill out our form let's say our company will be our company address line line 2 in the phone also our contragent will be contragent which has address and line 2 phone number the date will be this date currency will be US dollar and let's our amount will be 1000 so I'm gonna submit our payment and it redirects to our shop page and if we go back here our company we can edit so let's perform styling to our edit page our edit page mostly will be similar to our new HTML ERB we can just copy and paste code here to edit HTML ERB maybe we can add link control C control V add class to our link it will be btn btn success okay save that file and refresh our page add our title so let's put our links to footer and in our heading add edit edit our invoice so let's say h3 class panel title will be edit in the voice control X and let's add footer panel footer our links into this footer okay now refresh our page looks fine okay now we are ready to change our date field now it looks very ugly I'm gonna add bootstrap date picker this is a plugin let's go to their page bootstrap date picker
is a very powerful plugin very useful and looks more you know more nice it looks very nice let's go to online demo and watch out what it looks like it looks like this very simple and useful plugin so let's add this plugin into our project first we need to install our date picker js and css file go to bootstrap date picker dist folder open up your bootstrap date picker js file so click row this is date picker js file and we should add this to our vendor so let's create file date picker js under our vendor assets javascripts folder and copy the content of bootstrap date picker to our date picker of our file okay fine save this file go back and add bootstrap date picker as css under vendor assets style sheets so let's create file uh, with name date picker as CSS create our file and put the contents of bootstrap date picker to our file or maybe bootstrap date picker free yeah Okay, copy the contents. Control C and Control V. Save this file and we should import it into our application as CSS. Okay, just write this file date picker and also import our date picker js file like this require date picker require date picker okay now go back to our form find out where is our date this is the simple form code and we should add this line s string save this file now you see our field will be or I forgot this now it should be written like this s string okay refresh and now you see our date with just a text field okay fine now we should create our date picker class let's say date picker save it 
and we should initialize our bootstrap date picker how we can do it we should create our main JS file let's say main JS file under app assets JavaScripts folder okay and let's initialize our date picker first of all write document ready it has function in this function we should select our date picker Just select by class date picker and write date picker which also has format let's say it will be year months and day okay now save our file and go back to our browser and I believe it should work yes it works fine now we can pick our date from date picker looks more consistent in a more convenient way okay now this is all for today today we applied styling to our app uh, we installed bootstrap simple form and we have made our app uh, look more stylish so this is all and don't forget to deploy our latest changes to our Amazon Beanstalk instance. So let's stop our server. Git add all changes. Okay, we've done a lot today. So let's commit changes. Let's say add bootstrap simple form to invoices app. Prepare or maybe just modify form with bootstrap date picker. Okay, click enter. Now let's push our latest changes to our GitHub repo. So let's git push origin gen master. Okay, fine. And deploy like this. EB deploy.
Okay, our deploy is completed successfully, so we can go to our uh, Amazon EB console. Now you see environment health is okay. Our updates completed successfully, so let's go to our website. Now you see all our changes are deployed to our website. Now we create one invoice. Let's create, I don't know, from Amazon, which has address and line two of address has phone to, I don't know, maybe Google. date will be or maybe the last day of October currency will be US dollar and let's say our amount will be 1000 so I'm gonna submit our payment and invoice was successfully created let's go back to invoices now it is our invoice so looks like our app is working correctly so this is okay for today this is all and in the next tutorial we'll perform the actual invoice creation to our app with items with uh, and our amount will uh, will be calculated automatically from our subtotal and taxes so and uh, for today is all and bye bye